And good morning once again, options traders, and a very special welcome to all of the new traders in the group. Had quite a few this week, but I thought this would be an important time to revisit an important topic, and that is the idea of selling naked puts. You get a lot of traders that do that, especially during times of high volatility, such as we're in now. And the reason that they get lured into the strategy is that they are always asking the wrong question. And if you ask yourself this question, you will always justify selling the naked puts. So what is that and what's the better question to ask? Well, so again, remember for the out of the money puts, traders turn to selling out of the money puts during high volatility. Actually, they use them all the time, but especially during the high volatility. And it appears safe because the option is far out of the money, right? When you've got high volatility, those very far out of the money options start to hold some value. So traders say, gee, I can pick up two or three or four bucks and this thing's 50 points out of the money. It's like free money. And so they are always trained to ask this question. Would I like to own this stock at a reduced price? Or would I like to own this stock for this strike price? Well, guess what? The answer is always going to be yes. Who wouldn't want to own the stock at a reduced price? So if the question always leads to the same answer, it's the wrong question to ask. So a perfect example here recently is Tesla. On August 31st, 2020, stock closed at around 498, basically at 500. And the four day 420 put was trading for $4. Perfect example. Traders look at this and go, hmm, I can pick up 400 bucks or maybe 4,000 if I'm willing to do this 10 times. And why should I do it? Well, would I like to own Tesla at 420? Well, of course the answer is yes. Who wouldn't want to own Tesla at 420 when it's pushing 500? But that's not the right question because again, it's always going to look favorable. And then you're going to say, let's do it. Who wouldn't want to own the shares? Well, let's jump over to the E-Trade platform and see how this trade would have worked out. Now we're over into the E-Trade platform. Today is September 16th. Tesla is at 4.53, up about almost four bucks. But take a look at the chart down here, this big green candle. This was August 31st. This is when the stock was near 500. And so in our situation here, the trader is talking about the 420 put. Hey, who wouldn't want to pick up 400 bucks for just four days worth of work? And again, they justify it by saying, would I like to own Tesla at 420? Well, if you had sold that put, yes, you collected 400 bucks, but here we go. One, two, three, four days later, the stock's trading just above 400. Well, that's a hundred points down. Now it doesn't look so hot. What do traders do now? Well, let me hope that it comes back. Well, now your long shares Delta one and look what it did the next day. Now it's down at 350. And the point is, is that this could happen day after day after day, losing dollar for dollar all the way down until you can't take the heat anymore or because your broker closes the position because you've got a monster sized maintenance call. So it doesn't matter that it eventually bounced. Remember, you don't see these candles. If you're looking at this candle today, this is all you see. And the fear is going to start telling you, what if it does this and this and this? And this is why traders get themselves in trouble because back here, they asked the wrong question. So what would be a better question to keep you from stepping into this trap? A better question might be, am I willing to own Tesla at 420? That was the put strike. If the price is 400 or 390 or 380 and start challenging yourself to really come up with a good answer. Would you really like to own it at 420 if the stock is down at 350 or 300? And if the answer is no, well, then it's going to change your perceptions. Maybe consider selling spreads. You won't receive as much premium, but you're also not going to have the risk either. But the point is challenge yourself to look at it from a different perspective. Assume that you get assigned and then assume that the stock price falls and see how you feel about the strategy. Then are you truly long-term bullish or were you just focused on what appeared to be free money? And the right questions will keep you from using the wrong strategies.
For anyone who'd like to learn more about the art and science of options trading, please check out the Alpha Trader course and Strategy Lab, as well as other training tutorials on topics like the Greeks and volatility, and even candlesticks. Also, please join us on the Facebook trading group Options A to Z, and you can find a link in the description below.